Hello, this is Thomas Wells, the body mechanic. I'm here today to talk a little bit about micro brakes for the low back. So you're probably wondering what a micro brake is. A micro brake is basically a short little exercise or stretch break that you take throughout the day, multiple times throughout the day. And this is particularly useful for people who sit a lot at work, you know, or are spending eight, nine, 10 hours a day at a desk sitting. Uh, you may have heard that sitting is the new smoking is a common expression that you hear a lot these days. Uh, I don't know if it's quite as bad as cigarettes, but it's definitely a major health hazard. Uh, just the mere act of sitting increases compression to the low back by up to 60%. Uh, so there isn't really a good way to sit. Uh, the, some ways are worse than others. Uh, I've done a video or posted a video in the past on stretch sitting, which is something that's really useful for mitigating the stress of uh, spending a lot of time sit, uh, seated. Um, but as a general rule, for every 30 minutes you spend uh, sitting during the day, you want to spend at least one minute doing some sort of micro break activity. So the total amount of time you spend during the day seated is, even le is actually less important than the total amount of time you spend continuously seated during the day. So if you have eight hours a day with breaks every 30 minutes, it's not nearly as hard on the body, it's just eight hours straight during the day. Not that many of us are getting it straight, but you know what I mean. You don't want that large continuous time. You want to break it up with these micro breaks. Uh, so it, I highly recommend doing this during, during the day, uh, during work, uh, long drives, uh, plane rides. I, I generally try to get aisle seats as often as possible so I can get up regularly uh, during long plane rides uh, to be able to get some micro, micro break activity in. So what to do for a micro break. Uh, there isn't a specific right answer to this. Even just the act of getting up and like walking to the water cooler and back is still good. It's still useful. It still serves the purpose of the micro break. But you can do extra things also. You, you can do something a little more scientific and a little more specifically useful for people who have a seated job like that. So I'm going to show you a couple activities here uh, to get you started. There are many more. You can find them on the web. You can make them up. Uh, they're basically, again, just stretches and exercises to help counter, uh, to help counter the body stress from uh, prolonged sitting. So the first one is basically a reach for the sky technique. So you're going to put your arms up high in the air as high as you can. I'm going to squat down a little bit to make sure I'm all the way on camera here. And you're going to reach up as high as you can, getting the shoulders up nice and high lengthening your spine as much as you can. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to inhale and spread your fingers as wide as you can. The finger spread really helps uh, to relax the intrinsic muscles of the hand, which tend to get overworked, uh, particularly for office workers. So spread, and you're gonna take a nice deep breath in. Arms down, do it again. Reach as high as you can, spread the fingers wide, take a deep breath in, deep breath out, arms back down. So that's one. Another one I wanted to show you, this is more of a kind of an integrating motion to get the, the spine moving, the pelvis moving, and the shoulders moving as well. So that's going to look like this. It's going to be a combination of breathing, arm, and spine motion here. So what you're going to do, as you inhale, you're going to rotate the arms backward, rotate the ribs upward, and then arch your low back. So by tilting the pelvis forward as you inhale. And then on the exhale, you're going to counter that, rotating the shoulders inward, dropping the ribs, rounding the shoulders, and flattening the low back. Just like that. Okay. There's other variations that you can do also where you're getting one, one arm rotating in, the other down. So it's this sort of motion like this, and you can do that with your head facing different directions. Uh, that's common one people do. And then there's any sort of uh, hip, hip opening exercises like lunging type motions, etc. Uh, they, they can be as, as big and intrusive or as subtle and uh, to yourself as you want. But you definitely want to do something. Uh, at least every 30 minutes, I'd even recommend every 20 minutes, 
uh, to be better. But but the uh, the number I've always heard cited is uh, one minute for every, one minute of these activities for every thirty minutes of continuous sitting. Um, a lot of people get really engrossed in what they're doing, really invested in what they're doing, and might lose track of time. So I definitely recommend setting a timer. Um, and if you don't want to do that, there's actually software that you can get pretty inexpensively uh, to put on your computer that will actually um, basically prescribe the micro breaks for you. So it'll pop up at fixed intervals and uh, it'll prescribe micro breaks for you based on what kind of work you do. So you input in some of your, some of your stats and, you know, uh, age, gender, how many hours a day you spend at the computer or whatever the particular job is, and it'll actually prescribe some stretches and exercises for you that make excellent micro breaks. And, and I don't know specifically which program it is, but there's one actually that will allow you to snooze the alert, but I think once you've snoozed it twice, it actually locks you out of com your computer for like 10 minutes so that you can get caught up. So that's pretty hardcore but it will probably get the job done. So I can't stress the importance of this enough. I mean, th this, can, this, can, this can be the deciding factor of, uh, of a, kind of what, what the effect of a workday has on your body. Um, it's extremely important. This is not just bonus. This is, this is essential to my mind. I, I'm kind of lucky in my work. I, I spend my whole day on my feet, which may or may not sound lucky, but for, for my body, it's actually really useful. Um, I don't really need micro breaks during the day because, I mean, I'm lucky if I get 10 minutes of total sitting time uh, over the course of a day. So anyways, I hope this is useful for you. Feel free to investigate more into micro breaks and different activities that you can use for your micro breaks. Um, but do it. it. I can't stress the importance enough. Thank you.